There are thousands of water wells that dot the Hanford site to support groundwater remediation. Many of them used for extraction and injection, while others are used to monitor wells for contaminants. Many of the wells were drilled decades ago and have served their purpose. First we come into the, into the well, to the site and everything, figure out if there's any water. First thing we do is sand, put uh, silt sand from the bottom up about two, uh, two feet above the water table. Then we go in there with a perforator and perforate the casing all the way to three feet below ground surface. Then we go come back in with um, a grout plant with cement. Then after 10 minutes, we release the packer, fill it up to the top, get the casing cut off to the surface, and then we put a brass marker where, where the casing was. 350 wells will be decommissioned over the next couple of years using Recovery Act funding. To date, 16 have been capped off, and the area surrounding them has been restored to their natural surroundings. And then we do come back and um, a couple people do a walk down and they look at it, make sure everything looks good, everything's stamped right, and then we just write them off the books. Their history. <laughs> this year alone, CS2M Hill will decommission 175 wells using Recovery Act funding.